Hello folks, uh, it's me Brian again um, from Fair Information and Friendships. Um, we are a um, pretty large group on Facebook, have gone YouTube, Google Plus, and this is Dexter. He is um, my insulinomic ferret and rescue. And if you can't tell, shows no no uh, indication that he has uh, any insulinoma symptoms whatsoever. If he's a matter of fact, you can see his his body weight um, roughly two over two pounds. Yes, he's a Marshall ferret, uh, very active, no symptoms whatsoever, and very well managed on. Prednisone, his medication. Uh, also, he is uh, raw fed, which makes a huge impact on ferrets and their health. Um, I wanted to discuss today how to use the Alphaturac 2 blood glucose monitor for extracting a very tiny amount of blood in order to uh, not only uh, get a score but to monitor and uh, um, manage and get early um, readings in the event that a ferret that you may have comes down with the number two killer in the United States in ferrets which is insulinoma. For some reason, um, uh, the reason I want to share this with you is because of so much confusion regarding um, insulinoma. So let's first define insulinoma. He really wants to get down. So I'm going to lay him down. Uh, f first of all, okay, again we have Dex and the paw print. This is where you want to take your sample. I usually use the middle. And believe me, this is not painful. They don't like it because that you have to be held and then poof, they get a little needle, um, but what you do is you take the paw get it on the pad and then draw the blood Once you start to see in the blood, it's not going to flow because her skin is very, very tough. You have to pinch and get it to come out. Once that comes out, then you would take with the test strip in, inserted, It helps to have someone who can scrub so that you can do it without interruption. Once you have it, um, the, the paw print uh, bleeding, you would take the test strip with the monitor and get, get on it. And then this will beep. And within five seconds or less, it will give you a reading. That's where you write it in your log. Once you do that, then you want to go ahead and then you would want to go ahead and weigh them and add any comments as necessary. Oh man, he wants to get down and play. I have to admit, 
and I'm a moderate although my ferrets are raw fed and scientific research indicates hasn't concluded yet but indicates that the materials that are involved in the manufacture of kibble or commercial dry food, fair food, cat food, whatever, contributes significantly to um, ferrets getting insulinoma. Always the first six ingredients if you do kibble feed should be meat content. When you start to see high up on the ingredients list of the bag, corn, wheat, potatoes, peas, uh, lentils, um, potatoes is a really bad one. You should avoid it. Um, carrots, beets, the reason why is because ferrets lack a large intestine organ called a cecum. Cecum is used in most other mammals for the processing and properly digesting vegetable proteins. Um, ferrets lack that organ, hence being obligate carnivores. An obligate carnivore requires for health um, animal based food, nutrients, protein, and so forth for life. Anything vegetable, grain, and those types of things should it at all costs be avoided. My biggest thing with kibble is that it is under no scrutiny whatsoever. So do your research, but it's hard to really say what meat protein is going into your kibble. So I hope, I hope this has helped and if you have any questions you can contact me on Facebook or Google Plus or on the American Ferret Association's Yahoo, for, Yahoo form um, with questions or concerns um, regarding this. Uh, one final note, the Alpha Track 2 uh, kit that I've shown you runs around 60 bucks for the whole kit on Amazon.com so it is well worth the investment not to mention the cost of having a veterinarian draw blood and do the same thing so I choose to do it at home vaccinations the same thing you can order the exact vaccinations, pinch up their back, and do it uh, uh, through the skin. Um, Instracutaneous, uh, and have the same results. And anyone with any experience can learn to do this. So, without any more jibber-jabber from me, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. 
I hope that it's helpful and I can be contacted on Facebook again at information or I'm sorry fair information and friendships um, as well as other places but that would be my first recommendation um, thank you very much for being attentive and I hope you have a very uh, doubtful day um, one other addition is important um, using the Alpha Track 2 monitor um, a quote unquote normal score for the ferret calibration it ranges from 80 to around 120 and I would add that the majority of not all but the majority of veterinarians use this exact th same thing and in turn that would save you money as well as a peace of mind by your own monitoring. 